all of them in it, and they're all okay. As soon as they land and as soon as that press conference begins, we will be there. In the meantime, to politics. First, Hillary Clinton. Now the ad rush by all the presidential candidates to show their softer side. I'm Barack Obama, and I approve this message. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. I hope that you and your family will have a magnificent Christmas season. Hillary, I know, is a funny, warm, genuinely caring person. She was just so engaging and so compassionate and so warm. And I really hope that all of the presidential candidates can just get along. <laughs> I was with you right up until that last one. <laughs> Well, a warm and fuzzy side, even a funny side. Either you have it, though, or you don't. So do these ads do anything to convince people? With us now, GOP presidential candidate and Texas congressman. He joins us now from Manchester, New Hampshire. And the best of my knowledge, the congressman has not r r run one warm and fuzzy ad. Congressman, what do you think of this? What do I think of what, Neil? I don't quite get it. <laughs> uh, so, so I can't see you doing these type of ads. Uh, do you think they're a waste of time? Well, uh, I, I haven't made a judgment. It seems irrelevant. It seems to me I'd rather talk about monetary policy and foreign policy and spending. So uh, some of these ads I, I don't think are, are too important. But we, we have an ad out about a Merry Christmas ad, and I don't think it's necessarily bad. All right. Well, because a lot of the people who know you very well, Congressman, um, say actually you're very funny and then you're a very warm guy yourself now most people exposed to you on the campaign trail know that you're the guy with the libertarian views and and tough positions on on taxes and iraq would it help those who don't know you to know that 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 warm and fuzzy side of, of ron paul well, I, I would hope so, but I have warm and fuzzy uh, positions. You know, I believe in freedom and limited government and let the people alone. So that's pretty warm and fuzzy, uh, you know, allowing people to lead their own lives. So uh, I, I don't think the ad just to deal with personalities isn't very necessary. Do you think they work, though, that these type, you, you've been around this before, you've been, uh, you know, in Congress for many years, you've, you've tried this presidential thing before. Do you think that these type of ads register with people just as someone who, who, who watches the process no I, I would say that the people who are joining our campaign by the tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands and those who are sending the money aren't motivated by that i mean i think they like to know who i am and they like they want to know me and like me and know i'm a grandfather and like kids but i think what mo motivates them are my political beliefs and what i believe in the constitution and monetary policy that's what energizes people but uh, I don't think you can divorce it completely from the personality. But if you have bad policies and you think you can overcome bad policy with, uh, you know, these fuzzy ads and think that personality is going to overcome bad policy, won't work. No way. But if you can get good policies and a good personality, then I think it's great. Congressman, let me ask you, you talk about the amount of money you've raised over the Internet and for your campaign in general, and it is staggering. Last Sunday alone, $6 million plus. There are reports, sir, that... Um, your campaign has received a $500 campaign donation from a white supremacist in West Palm Beach. Um, and your campaign had indicated you have no intention to return it. Uh, what are you going to do with that? Hmm, I, it's probably already spent. Why well, give it back to him and use it for bad purposes? You know, and I, I don't even know his name. I never heard of it. You know, when you get 57,000 7, donations a name, are we supposed to screen them and find out their beliefs? He sent the money for my beliefs. And uh, if he's promoting my viewpoints and my uh, attitudes, why well, give it back to him if he has bad viewpoints? And uh, I don't endorse anything that, that he endorses or what anybody endorses. They come to me to endorse uh, freedom and the Constitution, limited government. So I see no purpose for me to start screening uh, everybody that sends me money. I mean, it's impossible to do it. It's a, it's a ridiculous idea that I'm supposed to screen these people. All right. So, Congressman, when you find out that it's this Don Black who made the donation and he, he ran a, a, a site called Stormfront, white pride worldwide now that you know it now that you're familiar after the fact um, you still would not return it well if I spent his money and I took the money that maybe you might have sent to me and donated back to him that doesn't make any sense to me why should I give him money back to promote his cause that doesn't make any sense to me so what do you think congressman of the candidates who do this either they say oh we got money from a group now we're aware was 
was kind of sticky. We don't want to give it. A, Hillary Clinton has had to do this, and a number of other candidates have had to do this. Do you think that just is a bad practice? I think it's pandering. I think it's playing the political correctness so that they, when you quiz them, then they can say, oh, yeah, yeah, I did exactly what you're suggesting I should do, and brag about how pure they are. You know, I, I think that's a bit of pandering. There's no way that I'm going to institute a, a policy of looking at 100, 200,000 of, of these donations uh, and find out. Well, what about the people who get donations that want to get special interest from the military industrial complex? They put in, they raise, bundle their money and send millions of dollars in there and they want to rob the taxpayers. That is the real evil. I mean, it is the, the evil that buys influence in government. And, and uh, this is, to me, the corruption that should be corrected, not to pick out one of my donors out of 100,000 donors and say, ah, oh, Ron Paul isn't doing the right thing because he hasn't sent the money back. I mean, I think you're missing the whole, boy, uh, the whole, whole boat because it's the immorality of government. It's a special interest in government. It's fighting illegal wars right. and financing and taxing the people, destroying the people through inflation and, and undermining this okay. process of the country. Now there is a moral problem that we should be dealing with and that should be the responsibility of the government. That's what I stand for. And if people send me money and I spend it for that purpose, I feel good about it. All right, Congress. And to be fair, your campaign has raised uh, well over $10 million in just a little more than a week. It's kind of hard to keep track of contributions as little as $500. Thank you very P much. People, people believe in our message. All right. Thank you. Very good seeing